Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Are you out of your mind? I mean, can you hear yourself speak? Father, I know what I'm saying. Why would I lie about such a thing? I don't know. You should be telling me. Because from your description now, that person is Amuma. Yes, Amuma. Now, why in this world will Amuma come to you? Why? That is the question, Father, because I'm sure what I'm saying. Okay, think about it this way. Of all the places to sleep, why would I choose the film? Why? But I have no reason to lie. Well, I don't know whether you are lying or not. But I'm in a position to confirm to you that Abuma has not been in the human physical realm for ages now. Abuma is a spirit being. Why would she come to you? I mean, what business does she have with you? That is the question, Father, because... I mean... Why would she appear to me? And I'm sure of what I'm saying. Amuma appeared to me. Why will Amuma come to him in her full element? Please, can you break it down for me? Why did we visit the chief priest? Why did you order me to stand outside? And my prince, why is it that ever since you, you, you came outside from meeting the chief priest, you, you haven't said anything? It's obvious you are part of my problems. How, my prince? How, how, what have I done? I asked the chief priest some questions, and he was not able to answer any of them. And here you are asking me two questions at a time. How dare you? I, I, I am sorry, my prince. But how, how is it possible? What question did you ask the chief priest that he failed to answer you? One, why are the gods not talking? Two, amongst all the people in this kingdom, why am I the only one she appears to? Three, why is she speaking in riddles? <clears throat> Honestly, my prince, I, I, I don't understand. You don't understand, fine. This is the more reason you should let me be. You may leave. I will say this in a plain language so that you will understand me well. Okay. I can't marry you. What? What do you mean by you can't marry me? You're joking. Stop it. I'm serious. I can't marry you. It won't work. Why? What have I done? 
Nothing. Am I not enough? Of course, you are more than enough. What is the problem? Trust me, it's for our own good. Okay, fine. Fine. You do not love me. But my prince, I love you. And my love is enough for us. It's enough. I'm doing this for our own good. What are you talking about? What do you mean for our own good? I have been betrothed to you right from childhood. I have been trained and nurtured to be your wife, to rule with you. How, how will you tell me that, 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 that this marriage will not work? Marriage is beyond all that. Yes. And forever is too long to spend with a mistake. If I get married to you, you will live a pitiful life forever. What are you talking about? I just saved you the stress. My prince, hold on. Everybody knows that I am betrothed to you. Did you even think for a split second about the way I will feel? This is why people make mistakes in life. Why do you think so much about people? People know that you are betrothed to me. People will say this. Listen, it's all about you. Forget about people. This marriage won't work. Excuse me. My prince. My prince. My prince, please. People will laugh at me. I pray in the name of our gods, please. Please. is talking and you are still talking. Nah, you can, you can pack that your own You can it. see both of you are insane. <laughs> yes, I am insane. Pack that your own You can only use it at, at, at the palace. If I born now, you won't lie never. Let me kill this girl. Listen, you. You say that you kill me today, I'll kill you. You say this thing you got for the goats, you're worse than the goats. You're going to eat it. <laughs> Enough! But no, please. Just let us handle her. Do you even know what this girl did? Do you know? The prince has called off the marriage. He has called it off. Because of this, this witch. Enough. Enough. Now listen. No one touches her. No one. No one does what? No one touches her. But I please just stay out of this. Stay out of this. Stay out of this. Stay out of this. Abiyageli. Abiyageli. I am telling you. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh no, can just that come. Don't think this is this is the end. I will deal with you! Please, shut up. <laughs> now tell me. Stop that! Abiyageli! Abiyageli! Nani! 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 You must be careful with me, Abiyageli! <sighs> 
come here. Baba. What did you do? I, I swear I didn't do anything. No. Baba, I am very, very sure I didn't. I don't have anything to do with the pain. No, but I swear, I swear I didn't do anything. Ah! Hey, God. How dare you? How dare you do a thing like that? On whose permission? Father, it's my life. I don't need your permission to live it. Did you just speak to me in that manner? Are you out of your mind? Father, I have been trying to make you see reasons with me. I've been trying to make you understand. But you wouldn't listen. See what reason? What nonsense are you saying that I'm Uma, the elevated priestess of Uma, came to you? You want me to believe that? No, do you think I, I am stupid or something? Father, I am not a baby. I can't just wake up and start fabricating stories. I know what I'm saying. The priestess, Amuma, goddess or whatever she is called, visited me. She is the one that knocked me out. Well, I, listen to me. One thing I will never tolerate is to allow anybody to distract me in a time like this. You are getting married to Gebemuma, who happens to be the daughter of the Ono. This is my decision, and it is final. But it can't be final. Yes, you can't be overruling at the expense of my life. What? What? What are you saying? No, I mean, what nonsense are you vomiting? How many times have we gone to see the SMO in his obi that he ministered to us? How many times? Didn't he tell us countless number of times that everything is working according to plan? So where is this fear coming from? Father, I am not afraid, but I'm trying to make you see reasons with me. Why are you not taking me serious? Because there is nothing to be taken serious here. You're only talking like a child, and I don't know why. Father, you can't play a blind eye. No, 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 no. You are the person who possibly has lost his sense of reasoning. Yes, that is why you will stand before me to say this nonsense. Does it mean... You still don't know the importance of you getting married now? Father, I know you want me to get married because you are afraid I might suffer the same fate as you did. But trust me, you can't force this on me. Unfortunately for you, you are up against Ezofiana Sonkata of Amanato. I am that king who can force anything on anybody. And I am that king who can break anybody. And I'm telling you as my son, don't provoke me. Don't force me to break you. Father, is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? Why are you bent on me marrying Ugobo without asking what moves me in the woman? Because the Ugobo we are talking about is an electrifying beauty. And I want you to look at her. Every time you keep saying what moves you in a woman, look at Ugobo one more time. The way a man should look at a woman. And trust me, you will see something in her that will move you forever. Most people misunderstand God's blessings. It's not by appearance, I feel it's by merit. Kimanka, imagine cause of. No, don't tell me to calm down because I've been coming down for way too long hoping you will understand. But no, he sees everything as a joke. No. He does. He's not. I had dreams. Disturbing ones that kept me awake most nights. I told my father about it and he did absolutely nothing. Rather, his major concern is for me to get married to someone I don't even have feelings for. Who does that? Obiechina. Talk to Obiechina me. Listen, I'm tired of this. Okay? It's spiritual. It's beyond you can see. I will not marry Ugebwe. I didn't mean to hurt her, I didn't mean to hurt you, but truth be told, I will not marry Ugebo. You all should stop. I need break. <laughs> Enough! Enough of this nonsense, don't you go? What is wrong with you and your son? Majesty, this is a very serious matter, and you're treating him with all level of nonchalance. You don't even Listen care. Listen to me. The only thing that is serious here is your son insulting himself and not me. Who is he to go ahead and dismantle a structure I set up with, between him and the daughter of the Ono? 
Have you bothered to ask yourself how that young woman is feeling? You, of course, you are a woman. So I expect you to know how that young woman is feeling right now. Yes, I know. I'm a woman. I can feel in her pain because I know exactly how she's feeling. Okay. But I'm afraid of losing a son. I'm afraid. My son's safety is more important to me than every other thing. And my concern here is that we know what to do to, in, to just avert this impending danger. Listen, that is about to overwhelm us. You know what to do, but you don't want to do something about it. I beg you. Let's do something about it. What is wrong with your jugo? I mean, what useless interpretation are you giving this? What? You might just say, I'm afraid of losing my child. My son, my only son, our Obiechina. And my fear here is that you know what to do, but you don't want to do it. Please, let us... Listen to me. You are not about to lose your son. What I want you to do now is to go and talk to that your son. The same way he stupidly and foolishly dismantled a structure that I set up. He has to go and undo what he did. I am the king of Amanato. Nobody goes against the rules that I have set up, not even my son. So you have to go and tell him that he has to go back to that same woman he rejected and fix what he has destroyed. He has to do it. And he must do it. Your Majesty, does it mean you've not been listening to me or something? You have not said anything at all. I am telling you. I've just given you an instruction, direct instruction, and I want you to go to your son and deliver this message exactly the same way I have given it. But come here, I know what I am saying. Do you know him before? Papa, I didn't know who he was at the time. Can you just, can you just answer the question? Have you or have you not met him before? I, I... Shut up! And go straight to the point. Answer the question. Stop beating about the bush, Miko. What is wrong with you people? Why not allow her to answer my questions? Hmm. Amaraju. Papa. Have you met him before? Yes, Papa. Ah Okay, it says if it is here. Okay. But I've met him before now, but I didn't know he was the prince. Yes. He wasn't dressed as one. Mm. And he didn't say he had anything to do with the royalty. You are very stupid. See, Amra, you are the most stupid person I've ever seen in my life. Who doesn't know the prince of Amanato, even if he's dressed in rags? Thank you. Eh? Tell her. You are just painting a lie to make it look as truthful as possible. I can't do it on the possible. You, you have to believe me. Don't call my name. Don't call my name. Mama, Papa. Onya mole. Onya Papa. Mama. Ozukwa. I swear. Hmm. I didn't know he was the prince. So what would the prince want to do with me? Hmm. What would I want to do with my sister's husband? Shut up your mouth. I didn't know he was the prince, I swear. Mm. You have to believe me. Mm. Next thing you will tell us you don't want to convert your sister's husband. Mm. Oh, good. Nonsense. Rubbish. Nenia, you're just like your mother. Mm. There's no difference. Just as sneaky as she was. That's how she snuck into a married man's house. Hey! And got pregnant for this girl. Sure! So there's no way she will not be like her mother. In short, she is worse than, than her, her mother. mother. Enough, Obiagi. No, no, she put pepper inside my eyes. Okwagi? Nem. Obiagi. Obiagi, now. What is wrong with you? Will there be a day people will pass around here and they will not hear voices? They will always hear voices. Because we have a witch, witch in the south. She's the witch. And until that witch is killed, nah, I got no bottle and Yes. Begging. But you know what? Why tell them because I'm not here? Let us go. Okay. We'll deal with her. Nka bumbido. Agaracha must come back. The battle has just started. You have drawn it. You, you idiot. I will deal with you. 
If there is nothing going on between the prince and Amara, as she said, that means there must be something else going on that the king wants to use as a distraction. I won't let that happen. I must get to the root of this matter. Your Majesty. Our people have this saying. When people have understanding, they can communicate with science. That's true. But this has gone beyond science, Your Majesty. And I can't picture it. What is going on? I want to know what is going on. Why must the prince reject my daughter like that? What has she done? I expect a man of your, of your status to rise above sentiments and understand issues the way they are. The way you are presenting this matter is not actually what it is. Don't tell me what it is, your majesty. Because when I returned to my house yesterday, I met my daughter wearing, crying out her eyes. And when I asked, I was told the prince did it. Why? Your Highness, you made a promise, you remember? Or have you changed your mind? I remember the promise I made, I won't lie. But trust me, I can tell you that I am doing everything humanly possible to ensure that the right thing is done. Then why are you condoling the attitude or the insult of the prince to my family? What are you expecting me to do, or no? Hang him because he rejected your daughter? Oh no. Why? Listen, there is always a time when we must have to rise above sentiments and analyze things the way they are. We are talking about a man here. And a man has the right to take a decision, especially on an issue that has to do with his life. Your Majesty, not on this issue that has been decided. Not on this issue. It has been decided. You and I know why this alliance has to be. And I am doing everything humanly possible to convince him. I try to convince him every day. Your Majesty, do not wake up the sleeping lion. Your Majesty, do not make me to voice out. Because if I open my mouth, it will be funny. Hold on, hold on, no. Are you by any means? Threatening me? No, 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 no. Let me, let me understand this. You know, are you by any means threatening me? Your Majesty, Ekweko Amaba is not a man of too many words. You know it. I am not threatening you, but reminding you of our agreement pushing you forward to do what you need to do. Good day, Your Majesty. When they move so fast, something will always bring them back. I am the king, and nobody must move ahead of me without my approval. Makana is Olisa Maluko is Olisa Maluko. Look, there is a reason I hardly will mingle with maidens in this land. Their hatred and jealousy is so much that they can just kill somebody for nothing important. God. Unako, why are you telling me all this? I do not mingle with these girls, and you know that. So what's with all this? Listen, this is not my problem now. The only issues I am having is that my sister feels that I planned it all. Look, forget about that fool. I am at 
pee about the news making the rounds. Oh. Unako. Don't tell me you were so glad about the misfortune that befell my sister. <laughs> and you still call yourself her friend. Leave that peacock. She's not my friend. Look, I wonder why you're still living in the house. If I were you, I would just leave. I'll leave. Leave the house and go to where? I do not have anywhere to go to. I am alone in this life. Okay. Your Majesty, you must calm down. Overthinking is not good for anyone. How can I calm down in Shianyoko when everything is going wrong? My house is on fire as we speak, and the man whose house is on fire does not chase after us. How can I keep calm in a situation like this? How? I, I believe that is the reason you call me here. As your friend. Talk to me, please. You know, my son has been having this dream since he was a child. The complaint has been coming and coming and coming. Even now, he is still having the same dream. And then his mother had this disturbing dream again. I told you about it. Then suddenly, he dismantles his engagement with your new daughter, the Abbey. Severing the ties we don't know whose family. Something is wrong somewhere in Shianyoko, but I cannot pin. I cannot pin exactly what the problem is. Your Majesty, I feel you should consult the gods. Are you by that trying to tell me that Ezemo is hiding something from me? Oh, Your Majesty. Ezemo is just the priest of Jiko deity. He is not a seer. What we face here requires the services of men or even women who minister on Ugili. Your Majesty, you don't need to continue closing your eyes on the whole development. You need to tackle it head on. Then in that case, I think uh, the only option is for us to see Jelly. Your Majesty, you don't have any problem. You don't have any problem. Leave everything for me. Okay then. You see, Anyoko, I, I know that you have always remained a very devoted friend. And I can always come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, can stop now. Wait. You're not serious, are you? Do I look like someone that says something you're not sure? Are you are you sure you heard well or you're mistaken? The gist is everywhere in the community. The prince called up their alliance and said he wasn't going to marry her again for reasons best known to him. Hi! Hey, good news! Best news ever! Good news, you see. Yes! How? Which part do you not understand? The part where she's no longer the next queen or the part where it is good news? Atego, mm -hmm. this is no good news. It's bad news. At least, if not for anything, she's our friend. She's broken emotionally. And then, this is shame. Think about the pain her parents are going through, her family is going through. Yes, it's a bitter thing for her family, that's true. But for her heart breaking, that heart can fall from the tallest Iroko tree to its tomb. I don't care. Bianwuka, you talk as if you drink sometimes. Do you drink? Have you forgotten the way she treated us? She treated us as fields who don't deserve to breathe the same air she breathes. Who does she take herself to be? Who does she take herself to be? See how the mighty has fallen. This one is nobody's doing, no. She brought it upon herself. At, At least feel for her, she's our friend. Was our friend. And can we stop talking about that girl? Let me remind you what you said the other day. 
that peacock has called the maidens into war and she's going to feel the brunt of that war. End of quote. Now, she's feeling the brunt of the war. Wait, I don't understand. Feeling, don't call my name. Mm. I just said what I said. Please, I have no hands in what happened to her. There is no issue what here. Kind of thought is that? The only issue here now is that she has lost it. She is a loser and we need to go and tell her to her face that she's a loser. Come here. Where are you going to? To your father's compound. My friend, come back here. Don't you have shame? At least she wants answered to be princess. Who, who are you? She Get has lost and we need to tell her to her face Don't that she's a that loser. Don't sing that thing and follow me. Rubbish. She has lost. <laughs> Where my mother's barrel? On how you buy it, eh? You will not agree that I'm your Is friend. Is this one a barrel? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with this one now? Because you want to go on the part of you. Listen, Uge Boy. It's not you, okay? Oh, my friends. Please, please tell me what I have done. You're not telling me anything, and it, it is killing me slowly. Listen, it won't work, okay? Why? I can't understand what, what you're saying to me. Why can't you tell me why the marriage will not work? I mean, none of what you have told me makes sense. All right. If you marry me, trust me, you will end up regretting it. I am not complaining. And listen, I will never regret being with you. Never. I'm saying this for your own good. I don't want to subject you to any kind of misery. My prince. You deserve better. My prince, I deserve you. Let me be the one to worry about that. Prince. Now you are sounding desperate. I am not desperate. My prince, you are my life. Your home is my home. Look, if I don't be with you, I will die. I, I, I will... I, I mean, something might happen to me. My prince, please, you have to, let's make things work like it used to. Let's call it spade a spade. It won't work. I can't marry you. Stop pushing it. It's beyond you can see. Well, I will never let you go. I will never let you go, Bechina. You are my life. You are my betrothed. I will fight till death. I will not let you go. Never. You will not let me go. There's your one come. Come and pay my home price. And you will pay it. What did they say? I mean, what have you found out? The prince has committed no offense against the gods. Are you serious? He has not? So why will Amuma appear to him? No, why will Amuma visit him and instill that level of fear in him? Why? What did he do? What did he do? They have not answered the question, but I have another information. What other information? The prince is free to marry. He is indeed free to marry. And remains the only one who can stop himself from getting married. Your Majesty, this is good news. Indeed. <laughs> 
This is good news. Usually I like the sound of that. And now I am not disappointed spending the kind of money I spent to bring you here. Thank you very much, Ijele. Nalo. I know you're here looking at me. Show your face. I said, show your face. <laughs> Amuma, is this you? I know you. I know you as one who doesn't hide. I know you as one who doesn't scare people. Or have you changed? Have you changed? Oh, is it what you did to the young man? Carry him or making him too? I saved his life. Ijeli, the same life you put on the slab to be cut into pieces. But I said only what I saw. Amuma, give it to me. You know I don't mislead people. <laughs> Ijeli. We all know you as a renowned Mayan Judah. You told the king exactly what you wanted him to hear. That is not exactly how it happened. Ijele, he paid you good money for your consultations, didn't he? That was why you lied to him to gain favors. Ijele! You are calling me a liar, Mama. Give it to me. You know I'm not the type that deceive people. Ijele, swear to the sacredness of Ugili that what you told the king is exactly what you saw. Swear. The young man had done nothing wrong. But his father did. And you saw it and you decided not to say anything. But what he did was a long time ago. He has forgotten about it. How then will you punish the son with the sin of the father? Hmm. The iniquities of man will be visited upon generation and generation. He will die. That's what you want me to tell a man? You've set a trap for him already that he can never maneuver. He marries in this kingdom, he dies. He marries outside this kingdom, he loses claim to his throne. That's wickedness if you will ask me. His father took the life of another. That of an unborn child. The tears of that woman and that of an unborn child shall never go unpunished. He has a choice. Life or death. But he is holding the piece of Amanato. Does he deserve such a punishment? Lord has been spilled, Jenny. Life squeezed out of the innocent. Who is that deity that will let such go unpunished? Jenny! You know what to do. Do it. Far be it from me, Onyezi, that I am trying to cut your excitement. But there is a problem. What is the problem? The prince. He cannot go ahead with his marriage with Ugebemma. How do you mean? I mean, why? Onyezi, once an alliance has been cut off, 
the two people cannot come together to marry themselves again. Uh, but I'm aware she I know that they can come together again. That is, if the person who called off the alliance vacates himself or herself, yes, there could be a sacrifice or sacrifices that may be required, and I am sincerely prepared. What I want to do is that I am going to force my son to vacate himself of this very terrible decision he has made. And then I'm going to provide money for the sacrifice, or even sacrifices that may be required. Onyeze, it is not as easy as you've just said. The prince, having broken the alliance, if he vacates his decision now, he will need to select the same maiden in a ceremony that involves other maidens. A ceremony where the prince will select a maiden as wife from maidens that are gathered have not taken place in Amanato in the last 100 years. Are you not aware? And that is because we have not had such scenario in this kingdom where a prince will wake up one morning and cancel his alliance with a maiden. We need to save the prince and the land. I don't understand why you are trying to make this process to be so complex and complicated. Onyeze, it is indeed very complicated. But a way out is the first election where the spirit of the departed daughters of Amanato will be invoked to monitor what happens. If the prince selects a maiden, that maiden becomes the queen immediately. You know what? You have my approval. I want you to issue a statement on this immediately. Get that published. In fact, with the seal of the king, put that notification as urgent and important on the leadership platform of Amanato. Let them understand that the king has approved that a ceremony should hold in Amanato for the prince to select a maiden, fix a date, and then I want you to appoint a woman who will organize the maidens. Her royal highness, mm. her royal foolishness, Chai. the rejected princess. Mm. <laughs> Ada, leave my way. So tell me, princess, how is the prince doing? Or oh, let me guess, you are no longer betrothed to him. That means Umoka and I will no longer have to come and clean the palace every day. That's nice. <laughs> I can see you obviously have problems with me. But you see, Ada, I am not in any way ready for this. Because I am, I am really upset. Okay? Just leave my way. And if I don't... It's okay, it's okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, but no, no. Wait. No, no, no. Wait. Calm down. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. And if I don't, the tigress in you will devour me. Well, I would love to see you try. You think you're the only one who is angry? 
I am angrier at everything and everyone than you. So what do you want to do? Take your pound of flesh? You think I won't? After all the awful ways you treated us this past years, you think I won't? Beautiful. Shemi? Ah! Shem <laughs> shy? Who will be able to give me? Shameful! Mrs. Shameful! Oh my god! You no, no, she thinks it's by it's, it's like to open eyes and nose. Eyes. <laughs> Shameless! It's okay! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Tell me you went to visit the prince again. I did, mother. I did. I cannot just accept defeat. I want my man back. I, I, I want him back. Listen, the alliance is over. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. Just stop visiting him, please. No, mother, no. I cannot accept that kind of defeat. Especially now that those vultures, uh, they've, they've, they've sharpened their teeth and are ready to devour me, mother. I will not accept that. Ugobo, listen. I wanted to fight back. Then I realized you have rules concerning that in our tradition. But I do not care about your rules. I do not care about your rules. I want my man back. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. In Amanata, once a man declared no interest in a woman betrothed to him, he stands. Especially when he has not had any carnal knowledge of her. He stands, and nothing you can do about it. Or are you trying to change what you told me earlier that he has not slept with you? Of course he has never. I trust and believe in my daughter. He has never slept with her. <laughs> Unako. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Unako, what are you doing here? I thought you said you would never step foot into this compound again. I am not here to see you, Gabe. I am here to make an inquiry for you. Yes, go ahead. I am listening. Okay, thank you. And oh no, something just broke out in the And I understand it has been published in the leadership club in the classroom. Well, I don't understand what you're talking about. Following the recent development from the royal home, the king has decided that the prince will pick a wife by selection. And by this announcement, all the families whereby the prince can pick a wife are meant to prepare their daughters for the selection. Madame Udoku has been announced as the one that will prepare the maidens for this task. This is so unfair. This is so unfair. My daughter has hardly recovered from the emotional trauma she found herself in when the prince broke up. And just within this short time, they want to select a wife for him. It's not fair now. Eh? Nani, it's, it's not right. It's, the king is being unkind. I'm sorry, ma. I, I'm sorry I came with such news. I was just curious. I think I, I have the answers to what I seek now. I'd like to take my leave, please. Thank you, sir. No, no, you're not saying anything. Father, you're not saying anything. No, you cannot let this happen. You have to do something. You, you, you cannot let this happen. You cannot, you cannot let this happen, Father. You cannot let this happen. Well, uh, I am still studying the whole thing. 
But you should have known that what a man will do is hidden in his heart. even mean? How can he do this to my sister? Who becomes a fate after now? Honestly, Your Majesty, I am not comfortable with this development. It is not even up to a week your son, our prince, rejected my daughter. You already planning Bryce selection for him. That is not fair. It, it, well, I, 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 the only thing I will continue to say is that I am sorry. I apologize for whatever pain my family must have caused to yours. But we need to understand something or no. We cannot force the heart of a man to be where he doesn't want his heart to be. Can't you understand this? But your majesty, that is unfair and insensitive. He did not even give a concrete reason as to why he rejected my daughter. Eh? Or did he tell you and you are yet to tell me? Well, apart from the one I told you already, he has not said anything new. And that is that he is no longer interested. We, we, we should be able to understand this thing or no. Are we going to force them to come together as man and wife? Of course, we can do that. As you know, who and the king, we can force them to become married. But they will not be happy in that marriage. It will be creating problem for the two families. Is that what you want for your very beautiful daughter? And if I may add, or no, I already asked the king to work on the prince. Uh, so you can select your daughter. Sincerely, that will be a beautiful ceremony if it happens. You're saying this because you're not the one directly involved. Do you even have a daughter that one can break her heart? I am asking you. Rubbing it on my face will not do you better. Neither will it change the course of life. Oh no. I believe that this is what destiny holds for both of them. Look at the bigger picture. Open up, open up your understanding and see this as a man. Go and prepare your daughter for the ceremony. You never can tell what the gods are planning. She can eventually be the one that the priest will select. And you can you stand before anything and swear that you are so certain that this is not what the gods want for your daughter? It could be. Shear up as a man in authority and stop frowning your face. Yeah? You never can tell what the gods are planning. Why you? Calm down, my good friend. Calm down. I should do what? Participate in the selection? But, Nani, it is not fair. I mean, how could you agree to that? I did not agree to it. No, Guinness. In fact, I stood against it. <sighs> but then, there will always come a time when it will dawn on men that they cannot make any headway in an argument. But this is, this is no argument. Is it not enough that I have been ridiculed? No, 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 no. I, 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 I have, now I have to compete with others for his attention. A man who I'm, I'm betrothed to? Don't think of it like that, my dear. How do you expect me to think of it, father? How? This is an insult. And you know it. 
He feels that we cannot do anything about it. That's what he feels like. Stop thinking in that direction, Ugobwe. Yes, it might be an insult, but it could be a sign of good things happening to us. Who knows, he may eventually pick you that day. Pick me? Someone who told me categorically that he doesn't love me? How would he do that? Well, um, I think your mother has one or two things to tell you. Please don't listen to her. No, no, this is quite frustrating. One or two things that what? I have taught her everything she needs to know. There's nothing more to teach. A man who has not come to the end of his job will not assume the tax has ended. All your teachings are for her to get closer to the prince and become the queen. And that has not happened. You should not be thinking of resting. <laughs> Think of what you can do before that maiden's will take the place of you. As some of you may already know, my name is Oduako and I am your organizer for this selection. As some of you may have heard from your parents, this selection will lead to the emergence of the next queen of this kingdom. And the process begins with this occasion. So I ask, is there any question before we begin? Okay. <clears throat> before I ask my question, I would like to plead with us all to allow me to build my foundation with some freelance questions for a general response. Number one, in Amanato, do we allow one stick to pierce our eyes twice? No! Number two, anyone who has failed a test in Amanato, do we still allow that person to keep wasting our time? No! Oh. What is the meaning of this? Go straight to the point, please. I am sorry, Madam Uduak, but I see a peacock in our midst who has failed this test. And her failure mm -hmm. is the reason why all the maidens here have this opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I ask again, do we still allow this one who has failed before to keep on wasting our time? No! no. 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 Listen up, all of you. No. Just listen, no. calm down, listen to no. me. Listen, all of you. We are here for a sacred process that's supposed to lead to the emergence of the next queen of this kingdom. This is not an outing to make caricature of anyone. And so I'm ordering you to withdraw that question immediately. I withdraw the question, but I thank the gods that I already asked it. And everyone and the peacock here heard it. But I withdraw. I withdraw. Yes. <laughs> I withdraw. Oh. That's the ring set there. <laughs> should open and swallow me. Adego. Adego, I hate you so much. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't say things like that. It's not nice. Now, stop cursing and abusing and tell me what happened. Mother, you needed to have been there. 
they were making jests at me. They were, they were, they were saying things that were just so hurtful. Yes, but Mama, it, it, there is no but. It's just awful, Mother. Why, why do I have to go through all this? Why do I have to live like this, Mother? Why, why? For how long will I keep doing this? I can't continue. For as long as it takes, my dear. You should know that nothing good comes easy. It will soon get better. Will it? I encourage you never to give up. Hmm? For how long? Mother, for how long? Listen to me. Life is not always easy. But whatever we go through molds us into what we eventually become. Mother, why can't things just happen naturally? Why can't he just come and marry me? And I don't have to go through this trouble. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Mother, you needed to have been dead. They said this. It's okay. Man propose what God disposes. Oh, Gigi, Gigi, the man, why you no more? Most people misunderstand God's blessings. Greetings, my friends. Greetings, Medina of Amanato. I was actually on my way heading to the palace to see you. I hope all is well. No, everything is fine, my prince. I, I just wanted to give you this. Food. Yes, my friends. It's a special delicacy I learned from my mother. I just wanted you to try it out. I hope you will like it. I will make sure he returns your flask. Thank you. It's <laughs> Ijama, my prince. Mazia Kudu's daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Your Highness. Greetings, Marina Pamarata. How are you? I am fine, Your Highness. I am Adego. Adego, how are you? I am fine, Your, your Highness. I hope I'm safe. Yeah, yeah, yes, Your, your Highness, you're safe. Um, I, I just came to see you and I I, I brought this, this for you. You brought food for me? Yes, Your Highness. Why, Ellen? Well, my prince, you, you are a handsome and a righteous man. You are the dream of many maidens of this kingdom. In fact, my prince, you are simply an atom of goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, thanks. Drop it here. Relax, my chili garden or something. Uh, um, no, 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 that's not necessary, Your Highness. I, I brought this for you. I, I made them myself and I hope you like them. I like it. Oh, oh, wow, wow. That's, that's so nice. I, I, thank you. I was hoping you would like them and... Drop it here. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't worry, they'll bring something for you. Okay. No, 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 Your Highness. That's not necessary. Relax, they'll bring something for you. That's not necessary, Highness. <laughs> you, you don't have to do that, Your Highness. <laughs> Is the meaning of this so it's not enough that i have to share his attention with things like this 
and you have to even bring yourself to him so that he can fall for your cheap tricks. And what are you talking about? Oh, she's asking what I'm talking about. So you want to lie about it? Well, I saw the two of you. I saw the both of you. Man chaser. Man chaser! That is exactly what you are. Me? Yes, you. Man chaser. You heard me right. <laughs> <laughs> you know you really must be out of your mind mm. and who the hell do you think you are <laughs> i like that question you know i like to flaunt it well i am the princess rejected Williams. bride the princess rejected bride now stop parading yourself in this village as if something is going to happen between you two and for your information, I do not lie. I mean, how can I lie about something as good as that? Being so close to the prince, looking up to his handsome face, his smiles and his flesh to me. Now that's something you are never going to have. Mm -mm. Not in many years to come. Why? Because after the selection, I, Adego, and no one else will end up as his bride. <laughs> Did you hear that? Now, if you don't mind, I declare this meeting over. And if you try this next time, I am going to pick you up from the ground and throw you into the evil forest where you belong. Now, get out! You are the one to leave. Oh, how? And the prince will never choose someone like you. He will never choose you! It's yours! Ma! You stupid girl! I hate you! I hate you! And what are you looking at like that? I don't understand. Why did you, 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 you frighten me like that? I was frightened. You. I gave you fright. Umoka. <laughs> it's unlike you to get tattooed, except you're doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? No, you go ahead and tell me. Well, there's no law that bans anybody from admiring a very handsome prince. You downloaded the images of my prince? You admiring him? <gasps> oh. What is with my prince? Shouldn't I? I mean, the young man is so fine. Oh God, I know you better than this. Oh. What is all this? I know you be better than this. Am I the only one? All the maidens in the village have been trooping in and out of the palace. Mandi Wago chef. Mandy will go cleaner, just for the prince to notice them. At least I still have my self-respect intact. Wait, what did you just say? Maidens admiring my prince? What maidens? What is with all this my prince, my prince, my prince? Prince of Amanato. How? Oh. Everybody's prince. Father. Oh, wow. hmm. Where did you get this from? It's looking like a royal apparel. And your father cannot afford it. How would you know? How would you know? Because my mother once served at the palace. She was in charge of their clothing, so I know what I'm talking about. Well, it may look royal, but it's not. It's just a gift for my handwork. From who? Why do you ask too much questions? Must you know everything? Please, I came to call you for, for practice. If you're ready, let's go. Oh, this is becoming too much. Less privilege. Every time they are dashing, dashing. Why, why do you have a problem with collecting things from people? You are poor, yes. But well, sometimes if they give you, say no. My friend. One kegaka zinjo, every time you are collecting gifts. Are you envying me now? The person took your measurement very well. Hey, hey. my friend. Are you, wait, are you envying me now? It's not about envy. It's about self-respect. Hey. It's a gift. What is wrong? My friend, are you, are you envying me now? <laughs> Thank you. 
kind of dance steps is this? I think we were sponge dance from this process. I say this because I have seen what you girls are dancing. There are no traditional dance steps in this you're dancing at all. All you do, girls do, are these uh, my modernized dance steps. But trust me, even if you dance this way on that day, you'll be thrown out. What is the meaning of this? Give her. Why are you not dancing? Don't you want to be here? No. I, I don't think they will let me. Dee, are you here because of anyone? Why will any maiden prevent another from dancing? I don't, I, is everything okay? I've observed how quiet you are and you are always on your own. Are you okay? Are you fine? Why would you say that? I can understand how you feel. But you see, there's no way you will get chosen if you don't participate actively in this. To get chosen, you will have to try, okay? Try first, okay? okay. So go on. on. Alright, music. <laughs> anything right what did i do what did i do wrong what you did wrong everything you do is wrong don't you know simple dance steps people like you are the reason madame uduaku complains that's enough at they go what did ugebe ever do to you why do you hate her this much do me a favor ijoma learn how to shut up especially in matters that don't concern you you are crossing the line anyone is crossing the line that person is you are yeah. how dare you who gave you the right the audacity to speak to my sister in that manner she didn't even make her head <laughs> <laughs> okay. who, who is talking Nobody. who is Nobody. talking Nobody. the bastard slave <laughs> what called you here don't you know that in matters like this Strangers like you are not supposed to venture. Don't you know? I may be a nobody. But she is my sister. And most importantly, they will know which to that. Reason you should learn how to speak to her. Amara, or whatever they call you, you... Hey, excuse me. Before you give remarks on other people, take a look at yourself. Yes. Look at yourself. You are not even qualify for this. <laughs> so you do not have any right to speak to my sister in that manner. Yeah, understand? Me? Yeah. Oh, but I will Good, go! Baby bingo. <laughs> that serves you right. Next time, you will learn how to control your mouth. I will break you into two. <laughs> what is this one? Go. It's okay. Don't are you that. serious? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You must have some nerves. You must have some nerves to do what you just did. Who gave you the right? Who gave you the right to intrude into my personal affairs? Who? What? First off, you made the prince lose interest in me. And now you come up here acting like a saint when you're a devil. Give me water, you don't touch me. I'm your sister. Sister, Amara, you can never be my sister. Never! Give way. You're just, you're just a bastard of some useless man. That your mother got pregnant for without telling us who the father is till date, until her, she died a miserable death. I've always knew that you're bad luck. Amara, you are you are doing the same thing your mother did to another woman. The exact same thing. What am I even expecting? No, what am I even expecting? You are your mother's daughter. What's the saying again? Remind me the saying. Snakes beget snakes. Now let me tell you something. Once I become the lawler of this kingdom, I will throw your lives to where they belong. And that's the evil forest. Okay, me. Hmm. 
I can't really believe the level of hatred Adego has over Ugebwe. I thought they were best of friends. <laughs> what has been happening between those two? I doubt if they were ever friends. They are always fighting. Hey, Joma. Something must have really blown out of proportion for them to be like that. Definitely. These two were more than close. Before Ugebwe even knew what being betrothed was all about. Honestly, I blame Ugebwe for everything. You know she's too proud and arrogant. I hold her responsible for whatever that is happening between them, between the boots. I know she's really proud. But you don't need to blame her for everything. I do. Why am I even wasting my precious time discussing this too? Hi, girl. Hey! Hey, Amanda. Amanda. Longest time. Yes, my dear. How are you, girls? Fine, my sister. Hi. Marriage is definitely treating you so well. You can <laughs> say that again. My dear, I thank the gods for giving me such a man. Mm -hmm. ah, he's so caring, loving. Ah, <laughs> exactly the man I dreamt of as a husband. Hi. Yes. Hi. <laughs> That's good. I would have said you are missing out in the ongoing royal bride so. But seeing you this happy, <laughs> I have no choice but to be happy for you. I'm jealous right now. I wish I'm in your shape. I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Seriously, I don't miss at all. In fact, I am glad I married before all this. I can't imagine me, Amanda. Competing with the maids of this kingdom over a man. A man who may or may not end up as mine. Or the impossible. He is That's worth it if you ask me. Oh. He is the prince. And whoever he chose amongst us will eventually rule this kingdom with him. And I pray to the gods that I be the lucky person. <laughs> <laughs> What did I say? The lucky person. <laughs> <laughs> and what am I? Uh, Wait, oh. to you, Prince, who look at me <laughs> from head to toe. Ugoma, a beautiful dancer like me. <laughs> and come after you. <laughs> As <Asking> is. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Did you just compare yourself to me, boo? Ijoma? Yeah. Did you take a very good look at me? Eh? Did you see my waist? Like, have you taken a very good like, uh, look at my waist when I'm dancing? Hmm? Eh? You want to compare it to this flat thing you have over here? Ah! <laughs> one in love, Mao. <laughs> look very well. Someone just made full of herself. Did she just say waist? Son, let's show the world. Who's Does with it big move when you are dancing? Hmm? Let me even ask you. Is it all about waste? Is it all about waste? Mm -hmm. Ijoma, what can you possibly do with this useless <laughs> amount It is a dance waste. contest. Yes. It's enough. It's enough, girls. It's enough. Uh -uh. I don't even know why this has to come up now. It has its way of turning sisters against sisters. Not to mention friends against friends. Seriously, I wish the prince went ahead with his marriage alliance with Ugube. He would have saved us all the stress. Huh? Mm. What did you say? Went along. Marriage. With that useless, arrogant Ugube. idiot. And we, her subjects. Ah. <laughs> Merry God forbid. They have forbid it already. Mm. Yeah. Because they went ahead with it now. That was why the prince blatantly rejected her. Anyway, I wish you girls best of luck and success. But whoever the prince chooses against you two, I hope it does not jeopardize your friendship. Well, I have to go. My mother in law sent me on an errand. <laughs> My regards to Mazi. He will hear. I dare take care of yourself. So, Badro, you people should visit sometimes, oh?
Oh, fight, oh. I know you might not even choose any of these. No, no, no. Ah. No, 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 no. I'm the only person in the house. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, Papa, can I bring your food now? Yeah, don't worry, I'll have it later. <laughs> uh, come back, Yama. Sir? Why do you have a trace of tears in your eyes? Tears? You have been crying, right? What is it? Oh, Papa, I, I've not been crying. I was not crying. Amara, you are lying to the Unobu. No, Papa, I'm not lying to you, sir. I was washing at the backyard. I'm not crying. Amara, do I look like I don't know what is happening in my household? Haven't I told you that this is your home? That you have equal rights? With a uh, Ogewe. You have Papa. Good. Can you now tell me what is going on? I'm not lying. I'm saying the truth. I'm, I'm not crying. <laughs> it's because I'm not laughing. I'm not. I hope you wouldn't keep anything from me. If there is anything I hate, it is failing in my responsibility to fulfill my promises. I'll keep that in mind, Papa. Good. You can go. Thank you, sir. What are you doing here? My prince. Stop. I am here to relieve you of your stress. What stress? My prince, I know you want me. I am here for you to take me. Hmm? My prince. Ah! Get out of this place. Ugebwem, what is wrong with you? Do you think all this will make me love you? Um, no, 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 no. Um, My dear. Um, My prince, you have been doing this with other maidens. Why is mine different? Where did you gather such nonsense from? I have not been doing anything with anybody and I cannot do anything with you. My prince, you wake up one morning and you called off our marriage. How do you think I have been living with this? Listen, you were betrothed to me. And all this while I've not gotten married to you. What makes you think I will marry you now? My prince, I am glad you know you were betrothed to me. I have now turned to an object of ridicule amongst the maidens. I have to fight for your heart, your attention with this half-baked maidens, my prince. You don't know what you're doing to all me. Alright, alright. I will make sure no one insults you or ridicules you in this community. Are you fine? Means no, you do not understand. All I want is you. You are my life. You are you are everything to me. I have grown to love you. You Please. keep saying you love me fine and good. But the question is this: do I love you in return? My prince, that means you're not even going to select me at the selection ceremony. That's what it means. You're trying to force words out of my mouth. Relax, on that day we always see how it goes. If you choose me, if you marry me, we don't have to go through this process in the first place. My prince, there's no need for all this. I don't need to be fighting attention with these maidens just to... Like, please understand me now, please. Listen, let's call a spade a spade. You were betrothed to me from child, fine and good. But well, listen, I don't have feelings for you. I can't marry you. Yes. So stop wasting your time. Come off it. My prince, I cannot be fighting 
your attention with these hard baked maidens now. Be no, no, my prince, please now. Please try and understand. Who is there? My prince. Prince. Obietina. Nya. Obiru. Ayetina techi. And Obiru. Ayadanadada. Nya. Obiadada. My prince. I know that you are busy in there. But the king asked me to come and call you. Immediately. My friend. No. My friend. Oh. Greetings, fam. Greetings, my friends. Thanks to Please sit down. What is going on? I was the one who ordered the ceremony for you to select a bride. But I can't remember asking you to get stupidly acquainted with all the maidens of Amanato. What are you doing? Father, I don't understand. You don't understand? Listen. Your movement, your activities with all the maidens of Amanato, has become talk of the kingdom. Men and women are talking about it. Even market women are talking about it. And I called you here to ask you, what are you doing? Or do you think I have not taken a notice of how they are coming into this place? All in the name of getting into your good book? What, what, what are you doing exactly? Father, are you sure you are not judging this matter wrongly? Why are you saying all this to me? Listen to me, I am not judging anything wrongly. I am only trying to advise you as your father. A decent man must not go into the record that women are keeping. When they want to discredit a man, they will say that that same man is the one that is leading many of them on at the same time. You need to understand that women are very sweet, but equally they are very deadly. And when women when they kill a man, most times, if not all the time, the corpse of that man will, will not even be seen for proper burial. Father, with all due respect, I am not leaving any maiden. I have been avoiding them from a distance. You need to trust me on this. Considering what my father told me, seeing that maiden is the only thing I'm avoiding. Yes, but she warned me to stop coming to see her. And she might run away if I ignore her warning. She feels Ujibwe is the one for me. I'm hot and thinking. Something will happen soon. Yes, something will happen soon. Oh, You may leave, I will send for you when I leave. I can sense the breeze of an unfriendly force. Who are you? I am the king of Amanato and I refuse to be intimidated. Show yourself. Man has no wisdom except the one given to him by the gods. As of your son, Kata, I came to ask you, why then do man cheat the gods with the same wisdom? Are you making a direct reference to my personality? 
the prophecy was clear and so was the mandate. You cannot run away from the repercussions of your sins. Sins? I don't understand. Uh, what sins are you talking about because I have not committed any sin? What have I done? The sins of man can never be forgotten. No matter how much he tries to block his conscience. The sins of man must always find him. And yours has found you. I have not committed any sin. And I cannot think of any atrocity that could be attributed to me. What sin are you talking about? And what mandate are you talking about? I am the king of Amanato and there is no way I am going to provoke the gods in such a manner. The dreams Obiechena has had since birth. You have not asked questions as to why and how. You're so engrossed in getting him married that you've not asked questions as why he has been having sleepless nights. Mama, please. Can you be lenient enough and explain these whole things to me? I, I need to know. And I can confide in you that indeed I am very confused. The wickedness of man has its consequences. And you shall face yours as of your nation kata. Is this? What business do I have with that mama? For her to pay such a visit. Gods of my ancestors. What is happening? Go and call Prince Obyeshina for me. Sorry, Your Highness, but the prince is not around. He left a while ago. Okay. Then go to Ishii Ayako's house. Tell him that I want to see him here. Now. Yes, Your Highness. Dragging your food with you. Mm. I know it may sound like a lie, but I tell you that this is the first time I'm eating something nice in a long while. And still, the prince of our land is chasing after you, and you asked him to stop. Una, please, I am not what he wants. You think it is marriage? The more reason why you should have followed him at his pace to know what he wants. I know what he wants. Really? Yes, and I do not meet up to any of those requirements. Oh. My sister is the perfect woman for what he wants. Yes, he should go build a relationship with her and stop disturbing my life. Please. The fact that you keep telling him to go build up a relationship with that classless peacock, it means you don't even love him. I'm going to eat your food. Listen to me, Unako. I'm listening very carefully. Hmm? I'm listening. Number one, I never said the prince loved me. He wasn't chasing after me. I don't know where I'm getting all this chase from. And I do not love him too. I didn't tell you that. Mind your business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is very confusing. Onyeze, why will Amuma want to electrocute you with handshake? 
Is there no way I don't know? She said I committed a sin. And that uh, with the mandate and the prophecy, I've, I've come out, I don't understand. What prophecy and mandate? You know how these extraterrestrial beings, how they love to speak in riddles. I even begged her to explain things to me. I like didn't explain anything. Well, you see, judging from what has happened, I believe that Prince Ubechina was telling the truth. He indeed was visited by a mama. The question now is why? And that is why I sent for you. I think Onyeze, we need to ask questions. Is that which one is you're not happy? Look, I'm very happy. I'm just not. But well, you've not been talking. What is wrong with you? Because I am tired. You don't see me killing myself there, dancing nonsense that that, that, that almost cut my slippers for me. Yeah, sorry. Come, I used to be a better dancer than you are. So, what happened? Well, that's what you get when you have supportive cousins. Huh? 
I visited my maternal home the other day and my cousins taught me a few dance steps. So right now, whether selection or no selection, I am so, so ready for it, okay? But I will still be coming for attendance sake. <laughs> Then there's no need me going there again now. Nah. Egypt by young It's obvious I will not win anything. You can say that again, my friend. No need to come. You might not win. <laughs> you might not. Hey, 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 hey. Are you serious? That imbecile? That good for nothing seer? How dare he? Your Majesty, according to him, he told you what you wanted to hear. He feared you wouldn't accept it in all honesty. So he lied. So he made me believe a lie all this while. And it was on the account of what he said that I allowed even this election to take place. Now it is clear that I've been I've been threatened on my son's life. Unyezi, what do we do? It is obvious that Jele has set his boundaries. He wouldn't want any further involvement in this matter. Hmm. What do we do? Do we consult Isemu? You see, Anyaku. The selection ceremony is around the corner. And I think the best thing for me to do is to concentrate on that one. When we have come to the end of that ceremony, then I am going to summon the SMO. Hmm. Are you sure you know what you're asking? I am obedient to a very powerful force called Omonye. He is not as lenient as any other force. Go home. Think about what you want very well. I am sure of what I want and that's why I'm here. I trust his ability to help me achieve my aim. I am sure of what I want. And you're willing to pay the sacrifices as demanded by Omonye? Anything. So long as I become the queen of this land, anything is possible. This could end badly. I don't care. Whatever the sacrifice is, I am willing to pay it. Very well then. Obu ye luku mo ne miyal, ya bo. O kangi kuku no kanga mo, ya bo. Abo kita ka bo ofo, adike we la tinde mo naka. But I can't just find a money to them more. Yeah, boy. Speak. Bonya is listening. Obunye, I do not want Adego to become the queen. I want Adego to be permanently removed from every selection. Anything it takes, I would pay. Very well then. Obunye, are you a tanu ajaka ajaka? Man, a tanu ajaka ajaka. Tawazi ajaka ajaka. It's a walking, it's a wine, but it's in the more with you. No, no, no. Make us equal. Good. What's going on? Why is everybody moody? It's 
to Adego. What happened to Adego? She was found this morning in her bed, dead. <laughs> Adego is dead? Yes, she's dead. What? What happened? Nobody knows what happened to her. Nobody could explain, not even the family. Such a thing for us. Adego is dead? Are you okay? I can't believe Adego is dead and gone just like that. <laughs> My sister Amanda. What exactly could have really happened to her? Mysterious. Just yesterday, oh, she was full of life and today she's dead and gone. Sister, such is life. I wonder how Mwoka is taking that news. They have been best of friends for ages. I met that one earlier today, and she said she wanted to rehearse alone. From the way she was sounding, I doubt if Adego's death hit her harder than it did some of us. Of course, it hurts her. That she wanted to train alone does not mean she is not hurt by what happened to her friend. Boy Joma, sincerely, I am not surprised something like this happens to Adego. Who knows who she might have provoked that ended mm -hmm. her life this way? Why are you sounding like this? But now? it's true now. It's true. You and I know the kind of person Adego is. The reason you came here is still what I'm wondering. I left you people's rehearsals because I didn't want any distractions. And yet you came all the way to look for me. Unka, calm down. I, I wanted to speak with you. Talk to me. Yes. About what? I heard about Adego's death. I am really sorry. So sorry. You're sorry? Yes. Are you sure? Of course I am. It is a painful death. Yes, it is, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are happy. You're happy because you never liked her. No, why, why, why would you say a thing like that? Yes, we didn't agree most times, but I cannot wish her death. It's not possible. I cannot even wish any human death. Yes, she was my friend. But I'm glad you used she was your friend. Because that was a long time ago. You hated her with everything. You must have noticed how well she danced. And then you eliminated her. Now you have come to look for me. Even after I am hiding in my father's compound. Just so you won't see me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you in any way implying that I... I murdered Adego. Okay. Okay. Wait until I get the evidence. I will disgrace you, eh? The one the prince did to you is small. I will disgrace you that you will not come out to people. Would you? Where are you? 
You haven't heard? Heard? Hmm. Oh, Guinea. It's a former. Oh. A former. Hmm. A former. Wait, wait. The same girl you said will win the selection if it will be based on dancing. Exactly. Ujie. That one. Uh -huh. What happened to her? My sister. She was raped yesterday. Chiyo! Raped? Nebezi? Yeah, in Amanato. So you've not heard all this one since? Joma, hmm? how did it happen? No, wait. Who did such a thing? To that lovely, sweet, quiet girl. She was ambushed with her friends. They all managed to escape except her. They found her in the night in the pool of her own blood. This is big time abomination. Abomination, sister. But my question is. Who could have been this heartless and wicked at the same time to do this to that girl? That is the same question everybody is asking. I mean, I don't understand what is happening again. First, Tosade goes there. And now, Afoma has been raped. And this is automatic disqualification from her from this election. Someone is behind this. <laughs> that one, I don't know. And I don't even want to know, like I'm not interested. My own is, this election should do. Come and go. Let us at least know which one is killing us now. <laughs> this whole thing is getting out of hand, my sister. It's getting out of hand. Two days. In two days time. Two days ago. All this will be gone. And forgotten. My sister, please let me run along. My mother sent me on an errand. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you later. Please. 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 That means I'm not even safe here that I'm alone. If they can rape a former, who am I? Hey, which way? Which way? Where was I go? Hey, poor. Hmm. Mother, I'm very surprised at what happened to her former. Hmm. I'm equally surprised. Hmm. It's a sad situation. I don't know why the gods allowed it, but uh, the deed has been done. The most important thing here is that she is not dead. I really feel for her. But, on the other hand, I am... Um, I think it's for the best. Mother. Yes? Why would you say that? Isn't it obvious? With the exclusion of Adego and our former from the competition, you stand a better chance of winning. None of the other girls can compete with you. So, the prince will definitely have his eyes on you. Mother, don't make me start seeing you as a sadist. Oh, please. I mean, what will you say, a thing like that? <laughs> Baby, I am looking out for you. And I know that what I'm saying makes sense. <laughs> I didn't send anybody to rape anyone. For the gods to have allowed it there. Who am I to... Who am I not to be happy? Okay. I agree with you. They're all sad news. But, on the other hand, they're still good news. Mother.
one maiden dead and another maiden raped. Should I proudly still call myself the incoming king of Amanata? As you claim, I don't know why these things are happening. Maidens are fighting because of me. They hate themselves because of me. Is it really worth it? Prince, Obiechina, Nya, Obil, Ayechiechi, Obiadada, Nya. I greet you, my prince. My prince, Ichie Anyoko is here to see you. He said he came on your invitation. Make him comfortable. Come. Yes, my prince. How will I start this conversation? How will I start this conversation? Do you know who you visited? Do you want me to come hard on you? You are very wrong. How can you say I visited you? How can I ever visit a man like you? In a very short sentence. Why are you here? I was on my own when the woman who identified herself as a Bibelgo Amanato visited me. It was her who sent me to you. Are you serious? The woman you mentioned is a deity. Are you aware? Now I understand. There was this intimidating aura that arrived with her. It was for this same aura that I have decided to deliver the message has given. What message did she give to you? She said you were the one that killed the maiden that died. This maiden in question, I do not know. And she further instructed that you should proceed immediately to be married to that same maiden for nothing less than 20 years before you think of getting married to another. Why, why would she say a thing like that? I mean, how can someone marry a dead woman? A dead woman that you killed! <laughs> Do not forget to add that. I have delivered her message. You are a Dibia. And I believe you know how you communicate with the spirits and deities. Consult with the deity that visited me. And she will further explain to you. I tried my best to stop this. Why didn't I stand my ground? I... Ichi, I am having this conversation with you because you are the one who told my father about the selection. And that is because I thought you have experienced the woman in that maiden. It would have been a disaster if we had allowed you to leave her like that. Ichie, I swear on my life, I have not experienced the woman in that maiden. Yes, she has thrown herself at me countless times, but I resisted her. Impressive. So, what do you want? Ichie, because the foundation of the selection is baseless, I want it cancelled. My prince, why do you want to cancel the selection? Because a maiden was killed because of this selection. Another one was raped because of this same selection. Now my question is this, is it worth it? 
Is it? No. So let's cancel it and have peace. Simple. Um, my prince, uh, you don't have interest in any of the maidens. So who do you want to marry? Become my friend by convincing my father to cancel the selection. Then I will tell you who I want to marry. What are you trying to do? Relax. Relax. I'm doing the right thing. Really? The right thing? You want to disgrace me in the presence of everyone in Namanato? Is that what you call, you know everything? So you want to belittle my sister and the other maidens? You're supposed to choose one of the maidens. How come you are doing this? I'm just trying to save the lives of our maidens. Yes. I can't sit back and watch our maidens kill themselves because of me. My prince, this was supposed to be a fair contest. Madame Odoku already went a long way doing this. Why? Listen, I don't like this. I want to go out now. Relax. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sit. I was asked to pick a maiden who will automatically become the next queen of this land. That I have done so everybody should respect my decision. From this land you said? I am not from this kingdom. It doesn't matter. It does matter. You'd lose your crown. And you know that. Listen. I don't care if I lose my crown. I don't care what happens. The most important thing is that I love you. Yes. Ever since I set my eyes on you, you've consumed every thought of mine. Including my decisions. I love you, Amma, and that's what matters most. I'm sorry this is happening this way, but trust me, I can't take side with my father anymore. Greetings, my prince. Prince Obilchina. Nya Obil Ayechiechi and Obil Ayadata. Nya Obiadata. What is it? My prince, you are summoned by the king and the council. You and the medium immediately. Fire. Shut up. Your name is Amara, right? Yes, yes, my name is. I gather you are on a wood servant. A niece to his wife. A young woman, without any father, automatically, with no name. Your mother did not provide any information concerning your fatality until she died. And even as we speak, nobody knows anything about your fatality. The only thing we got to know is that she was in a relationship with the man of Fobodona. And there was no evidence whatsoever that she met with the man of Amanata. On the strength of that alone, we can say that the information of Fobodona is actually true. Father, I don't know why you are visiting history. But the truth is, what you are saying is not necessary. Will you just shut up? We are not the same person that asked to shut up. <coughs> Why are you speaking when I am still talking? 
Be very careful. Don't provoke me. And you? You may not be from this town. Yes. But your mother was from here. This place can be agreed to be your maternal home. And you grew up here. You lived all your life here. Therefore, you know our custom and our tradition concerning a prince who decides not to marry from his land. You don't know? And you still trap my son. You still shout my son to the extent that he canceled the selection we have been planning for how many months now? How dare you? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I... Shut up! Shut up, Amara! I should have known. I should have seen it. Even when my daughter and wife were so adamant that you have this austere motive, I chose to believe you. How dare you come back and spit into my eyes, Amara? Oh, Amara, the gods will never forgive you. Enough, Ono. Yes, enough. With all due respect, you should learn how to choose your words carefully. What? Especially when you're talking to a woman. She used to be your servant, fine and good. But she is now my wife and the future queen of this land. So talk to her with some respect. That can never happen, my friends. Never had it been reported in the history of Amanato that a strange maiden becomes the queen of this kingdom. It can happen. Change is constant. And neither will Amanato have a murderer as a queen. Oh no. Did you hear that voice too? Mm -hmm. Or am I the only one? Mm -hmm. Yes, I heard it too. Sounds like a woman's voice. Yes. A woman with power and authority. Hey, you shut up! Shut up and say what you can defend me. A woman with power and authority. What are you saying? I am the king of Amanato, and I am the only authority in this land. What other authority are you talking about? You have committed a sacrilege. And I warned you. But you chose your little wisdom of that of the gods. Sacrilege? What sacrilege are you talking about? I will leave you to minister the revolution. I know when to come back. And you! You believe it has been forgotten. You believe that the sacrilege you committed years ago has been forgotten. They are up for judgment. And now... As a Mosul family, you found your voice. How many times have I come to you and you refuse to say anything. Why are you talking now? You got order that you should speak to this man in council now. Oh, he will begin to kill you. And your entire family would be wiped off from the face of the earth. Eventually, you can stop all that now. There's a more place. Can you make it easy for me? Can you, can you give me a clue? What exactly are you talking about? Obiechina, you ask why you do have those dreams. You ask why Amuma used to visit you. It is because of the sins of the past. The sin of one man. The sins of which man? Ezemo, what are you talking about? You change the course of life by taking that singular decision. That one decision that do not only ruin the life of one person, but the entire kingdom's destiny. 
I don't know what he's talking about. Machi. She's dead. Killed by the palace guard. Under your strict and specific order. What is he talking about? Why all this? What is going on? Machi, I remember exactly what I asked you to do for me. I said, keep me company. I didn't ask you to become pregnant. Why will you become pregnant? But it's not my fault, my king. I did exactly what you wanted me to do. And now I'm pregnant from it. I already consulted Mwayafa and she confirmed it's a son. What? A son? You are carrying a son for the king when the queen has not given him a son. Do you understand the implication of what you have done? My king, I am not going to complicate your life with this pregnancy. I'll carry it and nurture it till it grows. Just promise me you will accept him when he's gone. My wife is pregnant as we speak. Most likely, she's going to give me a son now. And suddenly, another strange woman will equally give me a son. And that son will start dragging things with my own son. This is not good at all. My king, you're not saying anything. Uh, and that is because I am thinking. I am trying to process the things that happened. You know what, Mashi? I want you to go home. Go home and wait for further instructions from me. I will get back to you when I must get back to you. Okay? But in the meantime, Nobody must hear anything about this. Okay, okay. Greetings, my king. Sit. I called you here for something very important. Nobody must hear this. The woman Mashi that I laid in the guest house is finally pregnant. She is carrying a child. May the gods be praised. Shut up. What do you know? You know who told you I am excited with the news for you to start praising the gods? Listen, Udiago. Mwanyafa has already confirmed to that woman that she is carrying a son. And she is planning to use that pregnancy to make an inroad into royalty. And that is what I don't ever want to happen. I call you here because I want you to keep your weapons serenity. If your queen delivers, and the baby turns out to be a boy. Mashi will be silenced forever. What if the queen delivers a baby girl, my king? I will make a decision on that when the time comes. For now, keep your weapons ready. I remember what I said. Nobody hears this. I am Obiago of Amanato. The good weapon in the king's hand. I made a vow that any day I betray the king, that day I shall die. Good. The 
very night, you deliver your son. Was the same night he commissioned Obiago to go kill the woman. He lured her into a secluded part of the forest and ended her life. Is it more? Her corpse was found hanging on a tree. Does it mean he killed, he killed her and hung her on that same tree? Let me hear that. Is it mad? Join. Let him deny his actions. And the verdict that I announced originally will befall him. Two days later, he poisoned Obiago. So there shall be no trace of his evil deeds. You hid it from men. Can you hide it from the gods? You know we have come a long way. Make it easy for me. Please. Be, be good and you. No sin shall go unpunished. I leave you with Injiko, the central deity of Amanato. Obiechina, don't you ever marry from Amanato without taking care of this abomination or you will die because of the sin of this evil man. If I am not any, I am not that evil. I, I did what I did because I was trying to protect my throne. And uh, am I not finished? Finally, I am losing the same truth. Why not stay humble, Makanoa, to Yari? On Yemechi, who knows tomorrow? On Yemechi, so so chukuma. Onyemechi, no one knows tomorrow. Onyemechi, no one knows tomorrow. Do you want to kill yourself from the stress of crying? Mama, where will I stop crying? Where will I hide? Mama, he went ahead to choose Amara. Amara. I mean, Amara has never dressed in a way to attract any man. <laughs> you and I know that the king will not allow him to marry him. Mama. He went ahead to, to cancel the selection ceremony. And he, he took Amara, Mama. He chose Amara. How could, how could the prince do this to me? How? Even if the king says otherwise, he will still go ahead to marry Amara because he loves her that much. Mother, I am going right there. I am going right there to tell the whole community the kind of woman she has as a mother. I will not let this happen, mother. I will not. Okay, boy. I will not. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. Okay, boy. It is not only the king that has lied and sinned. Oh, no. Is a part of this way. Huh? What did I do? Concealing the truth and using it as a leverage to get the seat you never deserved is a sin, oh no. Oh no. What is she talking about? Uh, do I know? Um, ask her. 
You don't know. Are you out of your mind or no? How can you say something like this before me? Talk to me like the man that has detailed information on the atrocity you committed. Of course you know you can't kill me as you killed Obiago. You and I know that what you know, I know it. So, let's go on with the business man to man. Okay. I'm listening. What do you want from me? Good question. As a of your nation, Kata. I I believe you did what you had to do for your throne and your family. But as for me, just a little thing. And we will be fine. No, we are not talking like no. I'm asking you. What is it you want from me? Good, my king. I want a relationship. Uh, we are already in a relationship like you know what the king. What other relationship are you talking about? A royal relationship with your family initiates a marriage alliance between my little daughter and your baby son. That's all. How is that possible? How can you say something like this? Oh, no. No, for how long have you been thinking this? Marriage alliances do not work with royalties. Are you not aware? What happens in a situation? where my son grows into a man and fails to see his wife in your daughter. What are we going to do about that? As a final song, Kata. As a price for my cover-up for your crime. Initiate the marriage alliance first. When he grows and decides to Reject the bride. Then you use your powers as the king to flog him into the into line. I am prepared to work for you. You are also prepared to work for me. I can't believe this. Now I see the reason you've been forcing Ugebo on me. Daddy, Baba, how could you? Oh, what did you do? I remember asking you about the alliance, and you told me that the king sealed with, with the staff of royalty because he loved me. He lied. Oh! The king had never met you when the alliance was sealed. It was merely to cover up a crime, and the gods have risen in judgment. Onyezi, you have touched us where it mattered most. Thank you, Noah. The king will leave the soil of Amanato and never to return. <coughs> and the future king can marry from wherever he wants. The staff of the kings can make a slave, a freeborn. And when the future king comes, he will decide what to do with Ono. Papa! Papa! Mommy! Papa, how could you do this to me? Daddy, how could you? How could you do this how to could me? You? Sure, you are wicked! You're a crook! You're wicked! You're a crook! Oh, My grace, please! Please, mother, beg you, please. <laughs> so all this has been happening in this kingdom, and we didn't know. You know, I'm not a pickle. 
Um, my people, the truth is what everyone needs, needs now. Which is? Amara. Are you ready to know the truth about your paternity? No. He's still me eager to know. Iwezudo of Mumbakindo is your father. <laughs> Your mother confided in me before she died. Uh, Iwezudo. My sister. Of Umumba Kingdom. <laughs> that is your father. What? Oh no. You are a wicked man. How could you conceive such an information? She's even loyalty. My sister, my daughter, she was my sister. I, I, I had a right to know. I made a promise to her. And a man in my class must be committed to the promise he made. How did I end up like this? My sister I've known all my life. Turned out to be a princess. And the man that I have loved all my life ended up to be with my sister. Okay. What kind of life? Is this? It is not you, it's not yourself, it's the gods. What kind of life is the this? Well, Very many of the two. Oh, my dear. That is how the gods want it. Amara has never hated you. And I know she will not hold anything against you. Against us. Hmm? Against us. <laughs> Our incoming king, Onyeze, Obiechina, Nya, Obil, Ayechina Techi, and Obil, Ayadanatada, Nya, Obiadada, Onyeze, Obil, Ayechina Techi, Nsil, Nobil, you are beautiful as always. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> um, you still haven't gotten over your father's death. Yes, my father was asked to leave this kingdom and never returned. But you know my father, he killed himself. That's not your fault. You see, he's dead now, buried. We just have to move on. Mwoka has confessed to her atrocities, all thanks to the deity of our land. Yes. She killed Adego and hired men from Akama to rape her former. As we speak, she is in chains and she has also lost her sanity. May the God forbid. Hey, are you serious? I'm serious. Let the dead bury the dead. Forget about these people. Let's talk about ours. Come in there. What am I supposed to tell your father when I finally meet him? I, I do not know. 
Although no one said he's going to talk on our behalf. You know, Ono is a good man. Though he did the wrong things. But please, I want to ask for something. Go ahead. Can you retain him as the no way you get the car? I can't say no to a beautiful woman like you. Your wish is my command. Thank you. Yes. After seeing your parents comes our marriage. And after our marriage comes my coronation. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my prince. My father told me. I know that your father will be giving you out today. I want to be there for you, my beautiful sister. Look at you. <laughs> Thank you. You look beautiful too. Congratulations, my friends. Man propose, but God disposes. Oh, Gigi, Gigi, why you no more come? Most people misunderstand God's blessing is not by appearance, I feel it's by merit. Kimanka imagine cause oh who just blesses is almighty God Makana is Oh 